The city of St. Paul is working to keep the lights on. Agencies tonight hosted a community meeting on how to prevent street lights from going out. Yeah, here's the deal. We've been reporting on this for months that thieves are stripping the wire right out of the street lights, and that's just leaving so many roads in the dark. It's a big issue. Jay Coles joins us live from St. Paul with the new plans to address copper wire theft. Hmm. Lindsay, one of the new things the city is doing is buying 90 new streetlight poles. Those poles will have copper wire boxes about eight feet high rather than at the base of the pole. But the theme here tonight was tougher penalties for copper thieves and licensing for those who sell copper and buy copper. Did anybody here pissed off? Perfect. I don't like to see people pissed off, but I'm super glad to harness that energy. Nearly 100 people told city leaders, including Mayor Melvin Carter, more has to be done about vanishing copper from streetlights. Um, and even on our street, um, when we go down Rice Street, half of the lights on one side of the street were on and the other half were off. Brenda Burnside is one of those concerned. That's when I got to thinking about it and I was like, yeah, because it's all everybody feels safer when there's some light, when you can see what's going on. Others calling for stronger penalties. Are there consequences for the people buying the copper? St. Paul Police Chief Axel Henry says putting the full weight of the law on copper thieves is paramount. We have to make it really hard to break into these light, light, light poles and take the metal. We have to really be serious about consequencing people when they do that. And Mayor Carter says state lawmakers are working on a bill at the Capitol to do just that. We know that keeping our communities lit, uh, keeping our lake lit, uh, keeping our uh, sidewalks and our, and our areas lit uh, is critical to helping to reduce the likelihood uh, of opportunities for crime in the first place. St. Paul says 30 copper thieves have been recently arrested. Ramsey County Attorney John Choi tells me elevating penalties and requiring licenses for those who buy and sell copper will be helpful. Maybe there's a way to carve out a theft statute that might have some enhanced penalties recognizing that when you're stealing this type of uh, stuff, it impacts too many people. St. Paul Public Works say if those 90 new light poles with the higher copper wire boxes work, they'll order more. As far as that legislation they talked about tonight, well, it's in the works at the state capitol, but it's yet to have a committee hearing. Reporting live in St. Paul, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News. Yeah.